On Thursday, January 8th, the Paradise Reef Project team held a ribbon cutting to mark the start of the largest artificial reef project in the Western Hemisphere. The Reef Project team is made up of several organizations and government departments, including Collier County's Coastal Zone Management and Solid Waste Departments, which have combined efforts to create the Reef Project. The project will benefit the natural ecosystems of the Gulf and also generate economic development. 18,000 tons of inorganic material will be placed in several locations, creating a reef system. The ribbon cutting event marked the start of deploying the material. I have been privileged and really blessed to be able to watch as, it's, as, as this project has taken shape and it was exciting. Each new thing that I would have never thought of is, has been moving forward and, and some of the things that I feel are so important to all of us. Yes, we're, uh, we're going to have a, a, a reef, something like nobody else has had in the entire United States of America, this reef. But on top of that, that's exciting in itself. But as you know, our fish population has been dwindling down here. So fishing hasn't been as exciting as it used to be. Well, now they're going to have a place to, to spawn and to grow and to grow our fish population. That's great for the fishermen. It'll also be great for the boaters because they'll be able to go around and just you know show their people this is where somewhere down deep here we have a reef. On top of that, it's uh, on top of increasing the fish population population. Do you know how good it's going to be for us locally, for our environment? We're going to take all of this stuff that you see here and instead of pouring it in the landfill, it's going to be serving another purpose. The greatest form of recycling I've ever seen and it adds a new dimension to our tourism industry. If you want more information on the Artificial Reef Project, check out the video on the Call Your Gov YouTube channel.